So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can follow the usage of your Power BI reports published on the service. And I'm going to show you also how you can create your own. How cool is that? Okay, so this trick was actually shared by Casper de Jong. He's a part of the Power BI team. And the post, I will post a link to his blog post, obviously down below, so you can go and check it out. But he goes through the steps of how we can actually reuse the reports that are available. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is what we're going to do. I'm in Power BI, I've already logged in, and I am a workspace called Sales Reports. Okay? So there are two types of usage reports. You have usage report for reports and usage reports for dashboards. So for a report, you go to the report, you click on the report itself, and here you have usage metrics. It says loading usage metrics, and it's basically loading a Power BI report that is showing you what's going on with this report. Uh, you get view usage report, and you see it creates a Power BI report. How convenient. And what you can do here, this is what Casper shows us in this blog post, is you go here to file, save as, and then you can save a copy of this report. So we're going to report usage. And I don't know why it says that, but just ignore the error. And if we go now back to the reports, you'll find that there are two reports in there. Okay. Now, for dashboards, you go here. You have to obviously create a dashboard first. I don't have a dashboard. So let me create a dashboard very, very quickly. Uh, dashboard name, dash one. Uh, and then we go here again to sales report, dashboard. Here's our dashboard. And now that we have a dashboard, you'll see here usage metrics. And you do exactly the same thing to create a report. You go to usage metrics. Now I say this loading, there's not a lot of data, so you should go fairly quickly, view usage metrics, and then we do the same thing. We save this as a dashboard, dashboard usage. So now we have both reports, ignore the error. I don't know why it's giving me that error. So now we have two new reports. We have dashboard usage and report users. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect to those in Power BI. So desktop. So, so we can create our own report based on the data from that data set. So that is a data set that now lives on your tenant. I have an update by Power BI. I know, I know, I have to do it because I have to do the, the Power Week videos, but I'll do it very, very soon, promise. Okay, so you go here to Power BI, Power BI data sets connect. And uh, here we write usage. And this is what you're going to see. It's going to be called the dashboard usage metric or report usage metric. So to know which one it is, you have to go to the workspace and find it there. So we've just created this two minutes ago. There's a hint, but otherwise you can see sales report, sales report. So these are the two that we want to connect. So if we go in here, connect, and then you see the data set here, and now we're live connected. So there is no model. We cannot do any changes on the model, but we can use a report or create a report to, to visualize the data, basically. So this is what I've done, and this is what you're going to get. I created two reports, and basically I modeled what they've done, and you're going to get them so you don't have to do it also. It just makes no sense. So I have one for report and one for dashboard. And I'm going to show you how you can reuse these on your own model. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, my computer crashed recently. So everything, you know, resets. It's, it's a pain. So here it is. It is a wonderful thing. Once you create a usage report or a dashboard usage report, it works for all the reports in that workspace and all the dashboards on that workspace. So here you can select all the dashboards that are available. This is for another workspace. So all the dashboards that I have available, I can just click in there 
and then go to the usage page and I just reproduce the same as I did. I have not any magic. You can do that because you're going to get this and then you can do anything that you like, okay? So here you can see the report name and then you can see, yeah, the, the data. It's not a lot of data, to be honest. But one of the things that I wish that was available, it was a workspace name, you know, because we could have workspace name, uh, report name, and imagine if we could have one report for all workspace and all reports. It's not possible, but at least we have all reports on one workspace. Okay, so you're going to get this. Now, how do you reduce this? As you see now, we have this one. This is for another workspace. So how do I reduce it? This is my tip for you to make it like super quickly. You go here to view, selection pane, and then here you have all the elements on the dashboard. Click on the first one, control click to the last one, select click, shift click, sorry. So it selects everything, control C, copy, and then we go to our report, the one that we just downloaded and paste it, okay? Now, did I connect to dashboard or did I, oh, I connect to dashboard, so this is not, no, 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 no. I copy from the, we need to do it from the dashboard. So this is the dashboard report. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. View, selection pane, shift, and then click the last one. So it selects everything. Control C, go to the report that we created, paste it. And because the model is the same, everything will work right off the bat. Why is that one not working? Oh, the measures don't get copied. So you have to copy that measure. What to do? <laughs> so the, I have a measure that just picks which, um, which file it is. So we need to reproduce that in there to be able to make it work. Uh, bear with me, bear with me, we're almost there. So, paste it. And now it's working again. Now the only thing that we need to do is to copy the fir first page and then we're gone. Now, this is, if you are going to create a big report, this is not the best way. So, here's the thing, if we go to Casper, and then we scroll down here at Gilbert from Formu. He has a blog post where he shows how you can reuse the Power BI file. Okay, I didn't really manage to get it working, but here you have all the instructions on how to do it. So it's been working for him. You just need to put some time, okay? So, you know, if you are going to create a, a big report with a big measures, my method is probably not the best, but if you just want to have the standard report, this works beautifully, okay? And now you have a usage report for dashboards and reports in one go. One more thing though, here's the thing. I was a bit confused yesterday when I was trying to record this video. What happened? I went along and I said, I don't want this, you know, because I want to recreate it for the video. So I just deleted them. And I said, oh, if I delete them, they will disappear from Power BI, right? I mean, the reports are not there, but here's the thing. If you create a usage report, it doesn't go away. The database stays. Now you see, I sales report, I don't have any report on usage anymore. But if I go to home, let's open a new one so you can see. I don't know if it's made by default, if that's the purpose. But I'm thinking it should be able, we should be able to delete them. I mean, and maybe it is possible, but oh, maybe because I have to delete the data set. Maybe it creates a data set. No, no data set. I don't know. I don't know. Let me show you. So we go to get data. I've just deleted the two reports. Power BI, 
Power BI datasets connect and we write usage. And you remember that I delete them. I, re I delete both the dashboard and the sales reports. And I can tell you that none of these reports are available anywhere on my Power BI tenant, but they are still here and I can still connect to them. So if I click on here and do create, it connects. Don't know. I'll tell Microsoft though, but um, that's, that's my fineness anyway. So these two files are available for download on Kerbal Downloads, the links down below, and then you go to Community Downloads, and then you go to number 50. So it will be called like that, 50 dashboard usage, 50 report usage. You can just grab them, reuse them, modify them, um, show me what wonderful thing you've done. Okay? Okay. So this is all for today. I will see you again on Friday with another Tax Fridays, the last statistical video for a while. Then I will continue. Okay? So have a nice day and I'll see you again on Friday. Bye-bye.